guys, it's Kendra and today I have a what I eat in a day video for you. I haven't done one of these in a really long time. So if you are new to my channel, this is where I take you with me throughout my day and I show you everything that I eat in a typical day. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then what I eat for a snack. <clears throat> my voice is kind of hoarse right now. I was just at Disneyland for the entire weekend, so that's what I'll do to you. So if you guys eat gluten-free, hopefully this will give you some meal ideas because I eat pretty much gluten-free everything. If I really, really want something, then I will take a gluten pill. I will link it down below. I get a lot of questions about that. I, I don't have celiac disease. I just am really sensitive to gluten if I eat it. And um, you can take gluten enzyme pills. Basically, you take them before you eat gluten, and it helps to not absorb the gluten in your body. So um, I don't like to use them all the time, like maybe not that often, like I want to say once a week I use them. I like to keep them in my purse, like if I happen to be at a restaurant and you know, you never know. I hope you guys all enjoy this video and let's get started. For breakfast I'm having some yogurt and fruit. So I'm using the Faye Greek yogurt, just the plain one, and then some granola. This is by Kind, it's their gluten free one and it's really good. Some flax seeds, some cinnamon. I put about a half of a banana in and then um, some blueberries. They were frozen, I just put them in the microwave for a little bit so they softened up. So it's almost 10.30 and I decided to have some tea because I haven't had any coffee or anything today. So I'm trying out this white Christmas tea by Stash. And it has, I think, peppermint, white tea, and ginger in here, so. For lunch, I am making leftovers. Well, I'm, I'm making tacos, but this is leftover meat from last night. So I have two corn tortillas, and then I put I cut up some, we had flank steak last night for dinner. So I cut that up into tiny pieces, and I sprinkled some cheddar cheese, and then I microwaved that for a little bit. And then on top, I put some sour cream and a little bit of salsa. So, oh, and I also put a little bit of lime on there too. I drank one, well, I'm almost done with it. This is the Synergy Kombucha, so this one has a little bit of cranberry juice in here, but there's a bunch of other flavors, one that just has like strawberry, and they're really good. So I drank this around one o'clock, and usually I'll drink like half a day, um, but I had the whole thing because I was lacking energy, and this is just good to kind of give you a pick, pick me up, and it's just like a detox in a bottle. I, I really like it. It is four o'clock right now and I'm gonna make a snack. So this is this new almond butter that I got off of Vitacost. It's cookie dough flavor. I also got another one that's coconut and then just the regular. So I'm having just a banana and then a little bit of almond butter. So Andrew and I are cooking dinner. Andrew's chopping some carrots. We're making vegetable soup. So uh, first I'm going to put all the potatoes in. I don't really know how many I'm going to cut. I'm not following any recipe. I'm just literally throwing stuff in. So I'm going to do potatoes, red onion, celery. Sorry, let me get that in focus for you. Uh, tomatoes. I'm using chicken broth. I'm going to do both of these because I want just a ton of soup so we can have leftovers. So I'm Pretty sure I'm gonna do both these and then water as well. Uh, carrots and I have zucchini. What else do I have? Parsley and green onion. So over here I have the chicken broth and water. I'm just going to start cooking these potatoes and then just adding all the vegetables in. Okay, update on the soup. Put two full things of chicken broth in here and then like four cups of water. I'm probably going to have to add more water. I just am going to let this cook and then try it, see what it tastes like, and then kind of go from there. I also put in some pepper, salt, some of this seasoning. It's this Simply Organic um, all-purpose seasoning. And what else did I put in here? A little bit of red chili flakes just to give it a little bit of spice. So um, I'm going to let this sit for like 30 minutes. We'll see what it tastes like then, and then I'll kind of add some stuff after that. I also added some kidney beans. I added like half half of this can into the mix. So here is everything all mixing together. Mm. Dad, your song. <laughs> Here's... I made a reference to that song last night. I said it the other end. Seth started laughing. Really? I said, what did you say? It's all like, about the bass. You're like, it's all about... Here's the soup all done. I just put some cheese in and some of, some of these chips from Trader Joe's on top. I haven't really tried it yet, but 
I don't know, we'll see how this tastes. The soup wasn't very filling, so I'm having some gelato. This is the Talanti coconut. The other one, what's the other one Andrew called? The, uh, it's like a crunch one. But it doesn't have as much like caramel as I would like. No, we have it. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hey, you wanna look at the freezer? Let's see. Where is it? Down there in the bottom. Yeah. It's this one. It's the caramel cookie crunch, but there's not that much caramel and not much cookie, so I don't know. Let down.